So how many of you enjoys milky lactonic fragrances? And are you familiar with commodity fragrances and their sense-based collection of fragrances? So commodity fragrances went out of business. I think they went out of business in 2019. They came back recently and they launched the sense-based collection of fragrances and a brand new fragrance called Milk. And it comes in three different versions in their sense-based collection of fragrances. So today I'm gonna to talk to you about this wonderful milky lactonic fragrance called Milk. And it comes comes in three different concentrations or versions of uh, the fragrance. So find out about these three fragrances, focusing on milk, coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in, this is Sebastian. Yes, today I'm talking about milk from commodity fragrances. So it comes in a personal version, which is the Milk Minus, this one right here in the white bottle. It comes in a expressive version, which is the original concentration. And then it comes in a Bold Plus edition, which is this one right here. So you've got the expressive and the bold fragrances in black bottles. And then you've got the personal bottles in the, the white bottles right here. So I'm a fan of milky fragrances. I've been wanting to put together a video on milky lactonic fragrances so now I have a reason to do that video especially since these fragrances are exactly what I like in milky lactonic fragrances so I'll let you know about the milk fragrances from commodity also go over the sense based collection of fragrances again just so you can understand um, this particular concept and then I do have a discount code for commodity fragrances it's 10% off I have a link in the info box and the discount code there but before I get to these fragrances if this is your first time tuning into my channel and you still haven't subscribed please click the subscribe button also click the bell so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways so let me know if you like milky lactonic fragrances and have you tried these milk fragrances from commodity it's interesting these are very woody fragrances but to me they act gourmand dish and some of the notes in here don't seem like they're going to be gourmandish fragrances but they are plus these fragrances are ultra cozy they're very calming soothing perfect fragrances if you want that kind of calming soothing kind of milkiness and uh, you know milk it's a uh, very very comforting comforting for me uh, drinking it and things like that so I think these fragrances uh, really do have this kind of like calming soothing effect uh, when you wear them but just a little bit before I get to the fragrances the sense based collection of fragrances are in three different concentrations or types made up uh, by commodity. They're called the Sense Space Collection Fragrances and you can get them in personal, which is in the white bottle as I said. And it's for those who want a subtle, intimate fragrance. You don't want a fragrance that everybody's gonna smell on you. You wear it for yourself or maybe one other person that's gonna get really, really close to you. And these fragrances come in two sizes, 100 ml for 105 and a 10 ml for $26. So then we've got the expressive, which is the basic collection, which is what you would normally get if we remove the sense-based collection. So if you were gonna go to buy milk fragrance, this would be the only choice. So this is the perfect balance between the personal and the bold. So it's not as personal and it's not as bold if that makes sense. So this is what most people would go for, but I like them bold. I really do like them bold. And the bold plus uh, in the milk plus here, it's for those who want to make a presence, their presence known. If you want to be known, and if you want to make your fragrance known by other people that you're there, you're wearing such a thing, you would go with the bold. But the price on the expressive fragrances, 100 ml, 128, and 10 ml, 28. And then the bold fragrances, 100 ml for 145, 10 ml for 30. So that's the differences between these fragrances and they've kind of gotten rid of the concentration format in fragrances here like Eau de Toilette, Eau de Parfum, X-Ray and things like that. And these are, you know, a different way of uh, buying fragrances. And sometimes people want something that's close to their skin, you know, they don't want their fragrances to be known, but they still want something, then they would go with something like this. And then of course, you um, might be very much like me, you want your fragrance to be smelled by others. So you would go with the 
bold fragrances. So these three fragrances were launched in 2021 and of course they're known for milk. They're lactonic fragrances, very very creamy. But let's start out with the Milk Minus in the personal uh, collection. Uh, all 2021 fragrances and it says Christelle Lapard is the perfumer on all three. So the notes in Milk Minus, the personal concentration, is skin musk, cashmere woods, amber, mahogany wood, white cedar. So that's what they say here and for me I mostly prefer the bold because I like the fragrances in concentration. I like the density there. But I feel like if I want something just personal, just for me, and something uh, even for like a bed scent, if I want something like a milky fragrance, but I want something to be light, I don't want it to be too intrusive, I don't want the fragrance to get in the way, but I want that calming effect, this is what I would do. It's a, a really, really cozy experience, very subtle, and I feel like there's, you know, something in there, even though it has this kind of creamy woodiness, the milky lactonic qualities, I feel like in here there's something molecular, like I asked soe super or ambroxan type of notes where it can come off like that when you're wearing it so it's subtle for sure but you do experience the muskiness here and you do experience the ambery touches and of course it's lots of woods but it's very sheer if that's the word to use and all those also sweet there's definitely gourmandish touches but it's uh, not jumping out at you. You know, it's subtle. Uh, it's powdery, milky, lactonic, ambery, and sweet. So this is, you know, it's perfect for someone like my sister who's a nurse who wants to wear some uh, fragrances, but she's afraid to wear something really, really strong. And she wears, uh, you know, fragrances like Not A Perfume by Juliet Has A Gun. And she likes these kind of cozy fragrances. So this is one I would recommend for her. And as I said, this is, uh, if I want to wear a fragrance and I'm around people that are sensitive to fragrances I would wear something like uh, Milk Minus. So that's the personal fragrance. The expressive which is in this collection, once again, has notes of cold milk, marshmallow, mahogany woods, tonka beans. So definitely, once again, it's similar to the original. I shouldn't call that the original, the personal, but um, it's a little more heftier, you know? There's definitely more substance here and you experience definitely more of a milkiness here. Whereas in the, uh, I was gonna say the original again, in the personal, you're getting a milky backbone, but it's not like acting like full on milky lactonic, but you definitely experience the lactonic qualities there. But in here, it's more of a milkiness. It's more of a lactonic quality. Plus this marshmallow comes in, gives it a very, very soft and gentle experience when sweetens up the fragrance as well. So you've got this milk, you've got the marshmallow working together beautifully. It has a creamy presence. And then of course the mahogany wood and the tonka. Tonka has this light, bitter, almondy touch, a little light tobacco-ish touch in there as well to make for a very, very beautiful fragrance experience. I do enjoy all three of them and I think if you have all three versions you can pick and choose for different scenarios. That's pretty much what this, uh, this series is for. Um, you want to wear the milk fragrance but you have some sensitive friends that will be around you so you're gonna go with the uh, personal. Um, you, you know you've got some people you don't know about but no one seems uh, sensitive um, then you would go with the expressive but then if you are going to be around some people that love fragrances and things like that, show off your fragrance, you would go with the bold. So this one, the notes are skin musk, tonka beans, mahogany wood, firewood, amber. So here we go into a little bit more of a gourmand direction but a smoky. There's a definitely a light smokiness in here. So you're experiencing like toasted marshmallows but lightly toasted because that milkiness, that creaminess is here and it's definitely acting a lot more thicker and definitely acting a lot more dense. So lots of musk, very very powdery, very very woody and ambery as well and that light smokiness comes in. And this one to me feels like custard milk rather than liquid milk that you would drink out of the fridge kind of a thing. So there's definitely a thicker experience here, a bolder experience, but very, very gourmand. You know, milky fragrances to me are gourmand in a way that they're not like vanilla bombs, but you know, there's definitely vanilla 
undertones here, some sweetness, and I think we're getting that from the marshmallowy touches there are there are in the fragrance uh, in the fragrances here in the three different versions, and of course the tonka beanie uh, touches in here as well. Uh, definitely add some sweetness and kind of light almondy bitterness as well. So my favorite is definitely the bold, and I think if you guys are interested in trying these, you should definitely see which one is your favorite. Definitely try small, uh, you know, sizes as well because. Uh, some of you might not be into the bold fragrances like I am. Some of you might be uh, into it. But then again, I know a lot of you like these kind of skin scent type fragrances. So the personal version is probably going to be better off for you. And then if you want that balance, of course, you would go with um, the expressive. But let me know your thoughts on Milky Fragrances and the Commodity Scent Space collection of fragrances. Have you tried these? fragrances yet? Uh, do you enjoy milky fragrances? And if you have tried them, let me know your thoughts. Which version is your favorite? Uh, I'd like to explore more from this house. Of course, I did paper a couple of months ago in the three different uh, versions uh, in the Scent Space collection, but I want to dig into the gold, which is the vanilla. I'm not sure if the nectar is available in the Scent Space collection. Also velvet as well, as I want to see what they've done in these three different uh, concentrations I would call them even though they're not using eau de toilette, eau de parfum, parfum kind of a thing. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on this Milk series of fragrances. Let me know if you enjoy Milky Lactonic fragrances. Let me know if you're interested in a video of Milky Lactonic fragrances. Uh, other than that guys, thanks so much for watching today's video on Commodities Milk series of fragrances. If you have any questions or comments, please do list below. Please like this video, please share it. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook and I'll be back with uh, more videos and giveaways. Thanks so much. Have a good one. Bye-bye.